Well, as many parents know, raising a family can be a full-time job in itself. And it's even more difficult when trying to juggle time between your career and your kids. Joining us this morning is licensed social worker Jim Clark, who serves as president and CEO of Daniel Memorial. Thanks so much for joining us. So we've got work, right? Work. We've got so much to do. How do we make time for our kids? It sounds easy, but sometimes it can be hard. It, it is hard. In fact, a study showed that in 2006, parents on average spend only 19 minutes a day talking to their children. That's mm. talking to them about things that were relevant. And so, particularly in this day and age, parents have to work, you, you're emotionally drained. Mm -hmm. There's lots of little gimmicks that people can use to try to keep that bond and that communication going. And one of the things that we encourage people to do is always make sure you have a designated family time. Mm -hmm. It might be on a Sunday. It might, in, in fact, in our home, it was always Sunday. We would give out our allowances and we would talk out issues throughout the day. The most important thing is for a parent to know that you need to make an effort every day with your child, be it reading with them, be it helping them do the chores. One of the things that we found that was really effective, with, uh, particularly with my youngsters, was we would, uh, they had designated duties at dinner mm -hmm. time. And so that allowed us to also, you set the table and then you kind of have that kind of casual conversation. But for really busy parents, one of the things you need to do is make sure you volunteer at school. Mm -hmm. Uh, depending on the age of the child, of course, read to the child. And when I was on the road, as much as what I was, one of the things that I still do today that the kids love and I love is we email each other. Mm -hmm. We literally do that back and forth. And sometimes it's a nice way just to say, I love you without getting into a big conversation. But I want to make sure we keep that bond there. And it's not just the parents, right? Kids are busier these days. Kids are busier. So you really have to find time, whether it be on the weekends or maybe mm -hmm. Friday night sometimes, as much as you hate to do that, mm -hmm. to make time for your kids. You, you really do, and it, and it is an effort. I, I, I encourage uh, fathers, take your daughter mm -hmm. out to lunch one day a week or one day a month. That's one of the things that we used to do. If you have a son, do one hobby with him that he likes. Again, that's so how you start that communication so that you can talk and they'll listen, and you can listen so that they'll feel comfortable in talking. Sometimes if you lose touch with your kids, it's tough to get them back, right? That's right. And one of the things often that people try to do is they, they, they'll get turned off if, they, if the child, particularly the teen, says, I don't, I don't want some time. Mm -hmm. Remember, just like uh, in, in sports, they say without any uh, effort, right. no, no gain, no pain. And so we've got to make sure that we constantly make that effort in trying to communicate. And just like in sports, you're the coach, That's right. you're the boss. You're the boss, and, and uh, the more effort you make, the more that you'll get in return. All right. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate you joining us again. Thank you. If you'd like more information and resources for working parents, just head to newsforjacks.com, click on the Scene on 4 tab, and look under our weekend headlines.